Hi, I'm Bonnie Bailey from Pie Plate Patterns, and welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. We have a special helper today. This is Sarah Oldroyd, and she is my niece. And she's going to be helping us with our tutorial today. Tell them how old you are, Sarah. I'm eight. She's eight, and she's going to be helping us with our quilt today. Uh, what we're doing today is we are attaching the, the cut pieces to the background in the Pie to Go method. We're working on the Labyrinth quilt, and we've got part of them attached. And we're going to lay out the rest of them and show you how to attach those. So these are the pieces that we have left. And we're just following the pattern and making sure that we get the right pieces in the right place. So Sarah is our expert at this and she is really good at laying out the colors. So I'm going to tell her what piece we need. Okay, we need a middle size square right here. Okay. Okay. And she's going to find the right piece and put it down. We'll get them all laid out and then we'll show you how to attach them. Right here. Right here. Mm -hmm. Where's the corner right there? So you can see that this piece covers four of our four of our grid blocks. There's one, two, three, four. And this piece is going to cover four of those. We're going to be gluing them all in this same corner right here in the upper left hand corner. Okay, and then we need a little square, itty bitty square. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got all of our pieces laid out for the rest of the quilt. Um, you can see that we, we switched some things around over here from what we started with just because of the color. Um, but these are the last pieces that we have to attach. So. What we need to do now, Sarah, is turn them all over, okay. leave them in their spot that they are, okay? And then what we use is a, just the Elmer's uh, washable glue, school glue. And I have a smaller tip on mine, but the tip that it comes with would work just fine as well. And I glue just a small bead of glue all the way around on the edges. It doesn't have to be right right on the edge but pretty close. And don't be afraid to get dirty because you will get glue on your fingers when you turn it around. And you're going to place that in that upper left corner Push the edges down to make sure, and then you're going to let it dry like that so that it will stick really nicely. Do you want to do one, Sarah? Sure. You want to do a little one? Okay, mm -hmm. you want to turn this one over? Okay, it goes in this corner here, okay? Okay. Very good. You want to try this this one that's a little bit bigger. Bigger ones are sometimes a little harder to turn, huh, Sarah? As you can see, we've finished putting on the outside blocks here, and everything's glued down and ready to go. Um, the only thing that we need to do before we get it before it's ready to be quilted is to trim this so that it's the background piece is the same from the edges all the way around. Um, so what you're going to do is measure from these edges, and the pattern actually tells you to do one and a half. This is all just personal preference. You can do, as you can see, I've got plenty of fabric here to to work with and so I, I have decided to do a little bit bigger and I'm going to cut it two and a half from from the the edges of the pieces that we cut on. That we on. Okay we're just finishing up trimming here. A little, last little swipe and now you have
have the option of adding a border to this if you want to. Um, we normally put them on the sides and then on the top and bottom at last. And if you just choose not to do that, which we're not going to, we're actually finished and it is ready to be quilted.